Flattening a matrix can be done with list comprehensions. But the comprehension to flatten a list is not easy to read and write. Let me show you how you can break down the problem to make this task easier for you in the future. Before I show how to flatten a two-dimensional list, I'll start with a single dimension list comprehension. Here is the single dimension list. The list is already flattened of course, so I'll just create a copy of the list and use a for loop for this. This works as expected. Now I create another copy by using a list comprehension. I start with an empty comprehension. What goes into the comprehension? I copy the for loop code. Each element from the list is captured in a variable call and needs to be expressed at the beginning of the comprehension. The comprehension produced another copy of the list. Now let's do the same with a matrix. The goal is to create a flattened list with six numbers. Without comprehensions, I would need two nested for loops for this. That works as expected. And now I want to do the same with a comprehension. I start with an empty comprehension again. And copy the nested for loops code. Each element from each row in the matrix is captured in a variable call and needs to be expressed at the beginning of the comprehension. And this creates another flattened list from the matrix. The result is the flattened list. And this shows the list comprehension to flatten a two-dimensional list. Don't feel bad if you do not understand what is happening here immediately. Even after working with comprehensions each day, I also had to look up the solution to flatten a matrix. But I hope this video showed you the process of turning for loops and even nested for loops into comprehensions step by step.